For those of you who are creating an e-portfolio, I wanted to spend a few minutes here today talking about how you can go about putting your ideas together for your reflections that are uh, pertinent or that are relevant to the uh, classes uh, or the lessons that you've created so far. So one way to create your reflection, your video reflection, is to use Microsoft Teams. And I think this is the easiest way since the videos already reside in uh, Microsoft Teams. It can easily be uh, used as you go in and create another recording in Microsoft Teams, display that video, and show excerpts of the video. Now, we talked about a couple of things in prior classes about how to do this, but I think what I would do to not have to edit the video once you have completed it is to first begin with an outline, a very simple word or short phrase outline, not a lot of text, but in that outline, take certain key points that you want to talk about in your reflection. And I would use the reflections that you've already created so far, review those again, reflect again on your experiences that you've had so far with the lessons that you've given. Based on our conversations in our classes, and put together some ideas about things that you think are going well for you so far. And also, very important to think of some areas that you are still working on. I would try to include both in your uh, reflection this first assignment, this first reflection, or this first e portfolio that you're asked to complete. Now, here in the second part, I would include in your outline timestamps that link to the video that is relevant to the point that you're that you're wanting to discuss the point that you want to reflect on instead of just playing the video from start to finish i would plan ahead in your outline and just include the timestamp so you can jump to those ex excerpts and i would include a beginning time and an ending time. So even when you're in the moment, you're recording yourself, you know exactly where to begin and where to end that particular excerpt, that section of your class before going on to the next point or jumping to the next excerpt. All right, I would offer reflection at least three key points per lesson. And each reflection, in each video reflection, should be a separate file okay so if you if you have three lessons you're going to have three different video reflections again each one having its outline with timestamps allowing you to jump to different excerpts throughout the lesson again at least three points um at least three different sections or excerpts from your lesson is what i would consider so you record it in microsoft teams sharing your screen um, it's not necessary to share in the video reflection that you're creating in Microsoft Teams, the outline. You can just show the video and show your face. It's very important to show you speaking about the video, but it's not necessary to have any kind of formal presentation or even sh show the points. I would have the points off to the side so you know exactly where to start and stop your your class but it's not necessary in the video to share that again just share the the class itself the lesson and you speaking about the lesson and again i think microsoft teams is probably one of the easiest ways to go about doing that just make sure you're recording when you're going into microsoft teams that, and uh, that you you know you get a good recording um you know try to find a place that's quiet and it's able to pick up your your voice and so on. All right, so that's Microsoft Teams. Now, once you have created the video reflection, most of you, I'm assuming, are going to do a private e-portfolio. So I would use Sway to bring in together your reflection, your outline of your reflection, and your lesson plans. Those are the three things I would include in your Sway. And again, Sway is going to integrate very nicely with the videos that you create in Microsoft Teams. So what I would do in your Sway 
is I would include, let me open up here. And you can choose pretty much any of the templates that are available. And you can go in and, and choose, you know, whatever theme you wish. But this is what I would include in the Sway presentation. So you have, you, if you choose a template, you'll have a starting point here. And obviously you can change and move this information around as you wish. But I would include some kind of organization here, share the, the aspects, the key points that you're talking about. Again, not a lot of text, just, just a way to orient the, the viewer, and like in this case, uh, me, so I can see more or less what you're looking at, what you're focusing on for your reflections. And I would include, again, the outline to your reflection, the reflection itself, which will include the excerpts. And I would also include the links to the full videos, just if as a reference. I would include the link that currently already exists in Microsoft Teams for your video. All right, so if you go into the prior channels, and I think I'm going to share the rest of these just to make sure you can easily access the, the different channels. But all the videos should reside in the respective channels that we've created so far for the particular input session that we have had. All right, so again, just you should be able to just share the link, either embed it, if you can embed it, or just a simple link, an H a URL link to the whole video. And that will complement the video reflection that you're going to be included, including and also just the, the basic key points that you're talking about. So again, the idea here is I can go in, listen and watch your reflection, look at your outline, and if need be, go to the class itself if I need further reference. All right, so I would include things in the title like your name, you know, your full name, add a, a few images. It's, if you're not familiar with Sway, it's very simple to add images to it and, and move text around. You can add blocks. If you want to add a text block, an image, a stack, you can get fancy here. But here, I think, is where you can include or embed a video. So you could even embed your reflections so they, they show up here within uh, within Sway. All right, so this is what we're going to be working on. We'll have some time in class to begin working on our ePortfolio and start working here in Sway to start thinking about design and how we want to organize our ideas. But that's basically what I would include here for your ePortfolio. Record your reflections in Microsoft Teams. Organize and bring together all of the artifacts that are linked to your, your ePortfolio in Sway. If anyone is using a public ePortfolio or already has an ePortfolio, of course you're encouraged to include uh, your ePortfolio in your current space, but that's optional. Okay? If you want to just have a private ePortfolio, then you can use Sway. Once you've completed uh, the assignment, I'm going to ask that you upload the URL to the assignment in the virtual classroom, and I've included the link here. Now, we're going to have an opportunity to make up a few classes. We have basically eight spots available on Monday and Wednesday next week. That would be October 2nd and October 4th. We'll have an opportunity to schedule up to eight makeup lessons for anyone who's missing a class or for any reason needs to make up a class if the video didn't turn out the way you would like. Uh, we'll have some time there to make up some of the lessons. Okay, so we'll also do that. We'll also have a time to make up or schedule those makeup lessons for those two days. All right, so that's it. Um, let, make sure you're reaching out if you have any technical issues or questions about completing this first assignment, this ePortfolio assignment. We will do something very similar at the end of the semester as we conclude uh, the course. 
will have a second grade for the portfolio that will cover the input sessions and lessons that apply to the, the latter half of the semester. Okay, so again, let me know if you have any questions, and I look forward to seeing your, your e-portfolios.